What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm back. Took a little hiatus. Honestly, you know, just really want this channel to be stress-free, man. Just want this to be a fun thing that I do. And with the holidays and the new year and everything, it just made sense to not record. But especially since so many years went by where I just recorded every holiday and every Christmas and you know, it does take away from those experiences, to be completely honest, like having done them when I was recording versus not recording. And with a kid, like, you just wanna be present, you know, that's that's what you wanna do. And having a camera there, you're not as present as, as you, you want to be. Even if the camera's not even like this and it's like away in a corner, you know, it's still different. So um, yeah, but happy to get back to it. I just got my blood work done. Um, I use Plume, the telehealth provider, and I've been using them for, I don't know, four years maybe. Um, I love them, um, but you know, I, with all the moving I've done, they're so helpful to be just completely honest because I can just move to where I need to move and then update them and meet with my new doctor and everything's good. So um, yeah, just got my blood work done and headed home. Got some work to do. Um, got some topics, a topic to discuss that's also tea related. Uh, and yeah, so I'm gonna not, I'm gonna stop filming and driving cause it's really not that safe. I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't do this. Okay, so yesterday didn't happen because life, I'm really trying to play catch up this week and get everything done so that next week I can start fresh, go back to the nice routine I've been in. So I got up at 5.45, no, 4.45 today, went to the gym. I just got out of the shower, but I just want to show you. So I'm like in my underpants, but look, I can't get this thing off of me. Why isn't this coming off? Like, this is the Band-Aid? from when I had my shot the other day. It's like just my skin. Look, you can kind of see right there that I've been like peeling it off. I can't get this thing off. Look, it just flakes off. Ugh. Terrified this could be stuck on me forever. You know, I just noticed this, there's not even pad here anymore. It's literally just the, it's just the sticky part. I, I mean, I've used probably thousands of band-aids in my lifetime ow a little piece right there um and this never happened so this is gonna hurt i could tell it already is hurting <sighs> Woo! um i don't really know what i'm doing with my hair lately i appreciate all the love i got on my 14 year video when I was like, oh, you know, I'm going bald, have a receding hairline. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair, to be honest. At this rate, I've just been cutting the sides, letting the top grow out, and this is it. Like, I just let it be its wild self, you know? Um, I'm hoping at some point I'll get with somebody that can help me figure out a good way to style it. And maybe it's just what I was doing before, but I cut my own hair. So I don't know, it kind of like looks crappy, but it doesn't, it, it looks cool like in certain settings. So when I'm dressed up nice and like you're going out to a wedding, you're like, wow, it looks cool. But when you're just like sitting on a FaceTime call or like a Zoom call, you're like, what is up with your hair, bro? So navigating that still, ugh, ugh. Oh, hairspray in my mouth. Oh. You know our collectors and your audience, and you don't have a lot of people who are going to help promote the works, then that's when you need an RFC. That's when they come into play. Um, that's my two cents. All right, so I just got off of a call for, um, there's this cool... Um, so pretty much I go to 
a just started joining a quarterly meeting with all of like the New York City nonprofits. So even though Point of Pride is not technically New York City based, it's where I am. I mean, I'm not in the city, but you know, it's close enough. It's good to be in connection. Um, you know, we really want to have a gala soon in the upcoming years. So learning all about that stuff, but uh, just cool to be connected with other people in the space doing LGBTQ plus work. And it's a wide spectrum. So um, that's awesome too. So just sat in on that call, or I guess was a part of it, but I mostly just listened and took notes. Um, now I am setting up for the podcast. So we shoot um, glued together just right here in my office. So my computer's there. And then this is the couch that we sit on. And so I am just setting up the camera, which is this phone. This is how we record it. Um, and our microphones and computers and stuff. So, so we're going to get recording in about uh, like 20 minutes or so. So if you haven't listened, you definitely should. I will put the link below. It's also just on my page on Spotify. And if you have questions, so what we like to do is we like to answer questions um, related to relationships. And uh, sorry, it's a dog's going crazy. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, you can drop them below. Otherwise, I'm going to get to work setting this up because it has to happen soon. All right, so as much as I wanted to make this video in, not in my car and in the house, today has been wild. It's the next day, <laughs> uh, but I am committed. This is happening. Um, and also sometimes I'm like, D I could I could say it's not the next day, but what I did is I brought my junior dob kit from Stealth Bros right here. Um, shout out to Braxton, a friend of mine, a great company as well. Um, and I wanted to talk about this. So I posted about this issue on my Instagram, I don't know, two weeks ago. Who knows? It could have been a whole month ago. What do I know? What is time? But I wanted to bring this in because um, I wanted to show you what I'm talking about and get a little more in depth. So I'm going to preface all of this or preface, preface. I'm going to say all of this before I jump into it. I know that there were like nurses and stuff on my comment section telling me that it was because of the way I was doing this said thing, but I have been doing it the same way forever and only now has it been an issue. So I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm just saying that it might not be in this case, right? Um, so this right here, okay, you see those little dots in there? Okay, so this is all of the piercings that I've made on this bottle. I use a 18 gauge to pierce. Now I will say, about three years ago, I bought all, a whole box of, I think it was 523 one inch gauges. Okay, so I bought a whole box of these. I think there was literally 200 or 300 of these in there. So instead of using the 18 gauges and paying more money, I just used this to pierce and draw in. Then I just used, I used one to pierce and draw it in and then another one to actually inject. So I haven't been using an 18 gauge up until a couple of months ago. When I moved to New York, I had to get a new script and I got 18 gauges because I ran out of my 23 gauge and that's when I started using the 18 gauge about, I would say maybe six or six ish months ago. A couple of months ago, I noticed that every time I pierced this, what happened is a chunk of that plastic was going into my needle. The, I mean, sorry, the actual syringe. So it was going into my syringe and it was, I could literally see it inside here. Okay. And it freaked me the hell out. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? I am already nervous. <laughs> I already don't like taking medicine. I'm so scared of what it's going to do in my body. I've been working on this and trying to heal it for so many years, like all of my adult adulthood. To think that a little piece of rubber is going into my body, just it freaks me out. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to die. What's going to happen? What's going to do to my body? 
The reality is that I'm pretty sure your body just rejects it and pushes it out. I don't know what that means. I don't know if there's just like, it's just in your body, which also freaks me out. I I don't know what it means. I just know that I don't like it. I, I don't like it. I'm not a fan. So I have gone back after this happening a couple of times, even after making that video, I went back to using the 23 gauge needle. Um, I still don't know what's happening. Again, I have been doing my shot and piercing this bottle the exact same way for 14 years. This is not new, okay? 14 years I've been doing this, and I've never had this issue before. I honestly think it is just the rubber might not be of the same quality. I just, I don't know, because... I had other people, so this is from Empower Pharmacy, but I've had a, I had other people from all over who, no way they were all using Empower Pharmacy. Impossible. So that is my biggest issue. And what I'll also say, the dilemma of having to use a 23 gauge on these particular ones, these Global Easy Glide, whatever these are called, these ones, oh, sorry. I think it's backwards anyway. Isn't that backwards? Whatever. These stinking ones, when you use a 23 gauge needle and you pull it back, there becomes so much pressure built up inside the syringe that when you go to like put it in, I feel like I've talked about this on my Instagram or maybe even here too. When you go to push on the back of this needle, I mean of this syringe to push it in, it is so hard. It just like doesn't work. The, I have had to at least four or five times stick it in, try so hard. It was so hard. I was nervous that I was just going to like snap it or just, I don't know. I'm just scared that I would pull it out, re get rid of it, redo everything, and then stab myself again. <laughs> and I am just, it only happens with these kinds. Okay, I've had other one gauges that don't, and I just, uh, just so much, just so much and too much and driving me nuts. Um, are you experiencing this? Are you experiencing this? I don't know. I'm curious. It's driving me crazy. Um, so I wanted to share that. That's the thing that's been going on lately. Let me know, are you experiencing this? Otherwise, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like. I will catch you in next week's video. Peace.